What's up, summoners from around the world? My name is Parv, and I welcome you to a brand new League of Legends Top 10 plays here on the Potato Monster channel. We've been trying our best to feature more variety and different styles of plays within each episode, so let us know your favorite plays in the comments below so we can always work on improving the show. Without further ado, let's get the episode underway, starting with something short and sweet at our number 10 featuring Gilius on Nidalee. This play isn't about some crazy offensive Nidalee, but instead much more about walking the line between life and death and how the little things you can do matter so much in league. Coming up next, we have ROG Zeph on Zed, knowing the limits of his champion to pick and choose the right times to go in and get out. Our number 8 features GBM on Rise with a pro run and gun play in a situation where things aren't going so hot. He remains calm, cool, and collected and manages to inch out a small victory for his team to even up the lost team fight. Moving along and into 7th place, we have Choke on Lee Sin making a big play for his team with a decisive engage to set them up for an easy team fight victory. Up next we have Boom on Xerath and everyone knows this champion likes to sit at max range and safely get in damage. What I love about this play is his willingness to fight within their attack range and have enough confidence in his skill shot accuracy and timing to take the fight up close. Let's dive into our top 5 of today's lineup, starting with F1X Inkos on Kane, finding a great angle to attack. Right off the bat, we see his friendly Alistar get blasted, but he sees the enemy team walking forward, so he queues over the wall and looks to flank. The enemy team are clearly focusing on what's in front of them because he walks through the tower and gets the jump on him. Coming in at 4th place in today's lineup, we have Yasuniri on Azir making a huge play for his team. They're down nearly 9,000 gold and clearly this game has slipped away from them, but their last hope lies in a huge win at Baron. Trust me, I've been wrecked by Zoe enough times to know she's frustrating to play against, but we don't blanket ban champions from making a lineup, and this next play is awesome from start to finish. We see her trying to play gatekeeper of the choke point as she lands some poke on Maokai, and they rush to finish Elder before the enemy team hard engages. Her team scatters, and Zoe kites back, hitting the only available target, but Cosmic Radiance deters her from dealing damage for now. She sends her E through the wall, landing it on Maokai. She peeks back into the fight with a great ult flash combo. Her team was really split up throughout this team fight, so they lose it pretty hard, but Zoe's still ready to battle this out.
jumping her way into second place, we have an amazing Tristana play around the Baron, utilizing her jump to not just finish kills, but to also reposition around the fight. I love how much awareness she has for what all the champions want to do in this team fight, including both her allies and the opponents. And for our number one pro play for this week, we have Salsami on Rakan flying across the rift with his insane mobility to shut down the enemy team and spoon feed kills to his carries. This is one of my favorite sets of bonus clips in the top 10 episode because the plays cover such a wide array of different styles. We've got epic fails, an amazing escape, a Shaco clone bait, and a few others, so I hope these provide some extra fun as we wind down the video. While these play out, I just wanted to thank our fans for supporting the channel every day with likes, positive comments, and for just tuning in so frequently to watch our videos. You're the backbone that allows us to do what we do, so I just wanted to make sure you knew how much we appreciate it. If you aren't subscribed, please consider subbing and turning on the bell icon to be notified of all of our new uploads. The bell icon is located down below right next to where you subscribe. One final thank you for watching and until next time, take care of yourselves and have a wonderful day. Y la va cogiendo, <laughs> That's what you call their super Mario, man. <laughs>